Good morning, good morning, and praise the Lord. Welcome to our Sunday service broadcast from wherever you're tuning in. I trust that you are well. I trust that you are blessed of the Lord. It's such an honor, such a privilege for us to bring this service into your house this morning. What a joy for us to be able to know that you would receive us with your entire household this morning to worship with us and to be able to just allow us to bring this word into your family. Well, God has a beautiful message for us this morning that I believe is going to be a blessing to us, that is going to empower us, that is going to equip us for the work of faith, not only for this season, but the continuation of our work as Christians. And so I want you, even before we go further, please, as we always say, please invite somebody, share the broadcast, form a party, and let's have a great time in the house of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. A very good morning to each and every one of you. Thank you so much once again for just, you know, sparing time just to listen to us this morning. We are so excited and thrilled that yes. we would come into your house this morning. Yes. And to the City Light family, we just want to render so much appreciation to you. Yes. It could not have been possible if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for your tithes, for your offerings, and for every help that you have actually done and that you have actually demonstrated in this time in this season may god richly remember you amen hallelujah amen. amen amen well we are a praying church we are a church that believes in prayer and even before we do anything we want to come into agreement we want to open it with a word of prayer to invite god into this service into your house so that that which we are declaring here you will experience it right there in your house Amen. and so before we do anything i want you to join hands with somebody in your house wherever you are if you're able to stop for a moment yes. just for us to come into agreement and believe god for something special would you come into agreement with us as we pray Hallelujah. father we thank you for this morning yes Lord. this is the day that you have made mm -hmm. we will rejoice and be glad in it yes we Jesus. invite you into this service mm -hmm. that as we go forth lord let your presence go with us yes Lord. we pray that you'll minister to each and every one of us you, in a very special way, mm -hmm. in a very powerful way. Yes, Lord. We speak healing over every individual that is hearing us that needs healing. In Jesus we declare name. breakthroughs. Yes, we Lord. declare open doors. Open doors we declare Lord. encouragement in these times of crisis oh, that we are God. facing and dealing with globally. Mm -hmm. yes, that Lord. wherever we are reaching right now through mm -hmm. this medium, yes, Lord. let your people be encouraged with your word. Yes, and let the peace of God that, that, is, that is able to keep our mind reach out to each and every one of us yes Lord. we thank you in jesus mighty in name jesus name amen. amen 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 and before we even continue father we want to also just make another prayer that i would want my wife to pray over the nations using south africa as a point of contact wherever you are watching us we know what we are facing globally right now but jesus. we believe in a god who can change situations and circumstances yes Lord. Uh, we've been speaking it here over the, uh, the period that we have been on online the scriptures that we are standing on job chapter 22 and verse number 28 the bible says that you will decree a thing and it will be established other version says you will decide on a matter and it will be done for you as a child of god you're a kingdom representative on the face of the earth on mm -hmm. behalf of god yes you represent god here just mm -hmm. like an ambassador of a nation represents his country's interest in a foreign land we are representing the mandate of god that's on the it. face of the earth that's yes. why jesus said when you pray pray in this manner our father who art in heaven our lord be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth even as it is in heaven and so we're going to pray that which we want to see in our nation we want to see prosperity yes. we want to see this crisis comes to an end many people name. are fearful about the future of their jobs the future of, of of their families with the crisis that we are facing but we know god who can keep us and even give us victory and so we want to pray over the nation right now mm -hmm. we want to speak the prosperity that we want to see yes. we want to declare victory in this moment at the essential service providers at going out to combat this crisis we mm -hmm. believe that god's power yes. is going to be with them to enable them so that they can be able to succeed in jesus name can we pray for our nations one more time in the name of the lord thank you jehovah god yes we we'll lift up your name O king of glory this morning yes we adore you O jehovah god yes we thank you that you are a faithful god yes we thank you that as we come to you we know that you are the answering god we thank yes. you jehovah god yes. even for this nation of south africa yes. Lord, 
Lord, as we bring it before you, Jehovah God, yes. we speak healing over the land yes, in Lord. the mighty name of Jesus Christ yes. of Nazareth, yes. Son of the living God. Yes. We declare that the prophetic destiny yes. of South Africa yes, shall Lord. be fulfilled yes. to the glory and honor of your name. Yes, we Lord. pray, Jehovah God, mm -hmm. committing all the essential service workers yes. into your most capable hands, yes. starting from the heads of state, oh God, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank oh you, God, up to every person, oh God, yes. that is involved in this season, oh God. Yes. We declare the hand of God yes. over South Africa, the protection of God yes. over South Africa. Yes. Thank you for our families. Yes. Bless us, oh God, yes. even in this time and in this season, yes. to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Thank amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you just tuned in, we welcome you once again. Thank you for being uh, tuning in to worship with us. Please, like we say every time and again, share the broadcast. Yes. Let somebody know that we are online and yes. let's all be blessed together. Well, the word of God that I'm going to minister to you today will be a blessing to your life. I believe that when we declare God's word, as the scripture says, that where the word of the king is, there is power. Absolutely. We're going to experience God's power, God's victory, God's healing. So yes. be expectant for your miracle. Amen. Be expectant for your victory. Be, let faith rise in your heart as the word of God goes forth so that you may receive that which God has for you this morning. We're going to be talking about walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. What a great time to, to share on this subject in this moment. Why do I say that? The Bible says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard. We need to talk about the Holy Spirit because we need the Holy Spirit. We cannot do without the Holy Spirit. We yes. are living in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit and we need the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit yes. in our life and to be demonstrated in our generation. So if you have your Bible, please turn with me into the Word of God in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 1. We're going to be reading from Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 1, verse number 4, all the way to verse number 8. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 1, verse number 4 to 8. And I also would want you, if you can turn to Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 19, verse number 2, write down those scriptures so that you can be able to look through them as we build on this discussion and trust God to be able to uh, empower us even as this word goes forth. Now the Bible reads in Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 1, verse number 4, And being assembled together with them, they commanded, uh, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem. That is speaking about Jesus, speaking to his disciples. But to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me. And verse number 5, For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, it is not for you to know, the, uh, know times or seasons which the Father has put on his own authority, but you shall receive power. Mark that word, if that is your Bible, I can normally say, if it is not a borrowed Bible, Please underline it, because if it is a borrowed Bible, you can't take back somebody's <laughs> Bible that you have marked without their permission. Yes. So if it is your Bible, we mark it because those are instances when you're reading your Bible again, those words, they stand out and it, and it reminds you of what is key in that text. So Jesus said to them that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the world. He says that when you receive the Holy Spirit, you will, you, you will, the power of God will come upon you. When the Spirit comes, you will receive power and you become a witness. Who is a witness? A witness is somebody who has been, uh, uh, if, you, if you look at it in terms of, uh, in, in legal terms, when they call for a witness, they call somebody who has experienced, who was at the scene that mm -hmm. saw something happening or who has a, a, a testimony of something that can be represent, can be used in the sight of the of the law to be able to defend somebody. So we are supposed to be witnesses to yes. Christ, witness that He has changed us, Hallelujah. witness that He lives forevermore, mm -hmm. witness that is in us, yes. witness that indeed Christ is the Son of God. When we receive the power of or the power of the Holy Spirit, we become enabled to be able to do that. Now, as a child of God, it is impossible to live 
live an effective and a victorious Christian life without the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I'll repeat that again. It is impossible to live an, an effective and victorious Christian life without the Holy Spirit. And that is why Jesus, towards the coming of the end of his ministry, kept on reminding his disciples of the coming of the helper, the coming of the comforter, the coming of the promise of the Father, who is the Holy Spirit, because he knew the importance of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. Yes. That is why he said to them, before you move out to do your assignment, you need to be empowered to succeed. If you're not empowered, you'll not be able to succeed. So as a child of God, when the Spirit of God comes upon you, ordinary men, uh -huh. when the Spirit of God comes upon you, it changes your life and changes you into another person. How do I know that? The Bible says to us in the book of Judges, chapter number 16 and verse number 17, yes. very famous story of a person by the name Samson. Mm -hmm. The woman is sent to him by the name Delilah to find out the secret of this man so that they may be able to capture him. And eventually Delilah succeeds. And if you read your Bible in Judges chapter number 16 and verse number 17, he responds to Delilah's uh, interrogation by saying to, he, to her, No razor has ever come on my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaved, my strength will leave will go from me and I will become like any other man. Listen to what he's saying. He's saying, I've been a Nazarite dedicated to God from the time I was in my mother's womb. Yeah. The hair was a symbol of, of that covenant and God's strength upon his life, which is the Holy Spirit. He says, if that is taken away, I will become like any other man. Mm -hmm. Other version says that I will become like an ordinary person, which means when the power of God, the Holy Spirit comes upon a, a person, it changes them to become extraordinary. Hallelujah. It changes them to become people that people mm -hmm. marvel and wonder who are these people. Yes. How do I know that again? In the word of God, in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter number four, verse number 13, the Bible says, now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John mm -hmm. and perceived that they were uneducated, untrained men, they marveled they marveled and they, and they realized that they had been with Jesus Christ. They realized these are an advocate and, 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 edu, and, and uh, guys that were not educated. Yes. They were guys that were not skilled, uh -huh. but they had something upon them that was so much distinguish, distinguishing them. Yes. They were so bold at the expression of their faith. Remember, they're talking about Peter, who at one point was very unstable, uh -huh. who was very scared, who could not even stand and agree to the fact that he was a disciple of Jesus when a young girl kept on telling him, you are a disciple of Jesus, he denied three times. Jesus himself says to him that you are unstable. You are like a reed, unstable. But when he had an encounter with the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. Peter's life changed drastically. In fact, the Bible says, if you read the same text in Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 4, verse number 8, the Bible says, Peter being filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Peter being filled with the Holy Ghost. So mm -hmm. the boldness that they're seeing Peter demonstrating was as a, as a result of the Holy Spirit that had come upon him. Yes. So as a child of God, you need the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 19, verse number 2, a very interesting uh, question arises, an experience that Paul had with believers who are testifying about the love of God, but they had not received the Holy Spirit. Listen to what Paul says to them. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 4, 19, verse number 2. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? He asked them. No, they replied. We have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. That is the sad reality, even in our time, that there are many who have believed in Christ, mm -hmm. but they have no experience with the Holy Spirit. Oh, and because of that, it is burdensome for them to do the will of God, mm -hmm. to obey God, yes. to serve God. Yes. It was never meant to be like that. Jesus Christ was very... Um, 
insisted several times, reminding his disciples and saying to them that they will need the helper. John chapter number 14 and verse number 26, Jesus told his disciples, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, when my Father will send him in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you into remembrance. He said that you will need help yeah. in the new walk of faith that you are getting into. Yes. You will need help. You cannot do it on your own. No. It's not by power. Mm -hmm. It's not by might, but by the, the Spirit. Spirit of the living God. Yes. So as a child of God, you need to be endowed with the, the power Holy from on high, yes. the Holy Spirit. When you receive the Holy Spirit, it changes everything about your life. Mm -hmm. You may have had a difficult background. You may have been a nobody in the sight of men. Mm -hmm. You may not have class. You may not have anything that people may look unto you and regard you. Mm -hmm. But the day you encounter the Holy Spirit, yes. everything about you changes. Hallelujah. That is why the unskilled men, the uneducated Peter and John, mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit came, upon them, it changed everything about their life. Hallelujah. And child of God, today I want to believe God for you with you that you will experience the Holy Spirit, Amen. that your walk of faith will become enjoyable. Hallelujah. Do you know that there are many Christians who feel it's so burdensome to wake up to pray? Uh -huh. They uh -huh. can't pray for long. Oh, they yeah. can't read the word of God for long. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they're doing it with their own might. Yes. But it was not their intended to be like that. Mm -hmm. So I want to walk with you with some of the benefits or the things that the Holy Spirit helps us with or does in us and through us to enable us to live an effective and victorious Christian life. Yes. And as I read them, if you have not been experiencing, experiencing them in your life, I want you to desire to experience them in your life. Amen. I want you to desire to see mm. it become a reality in your life. Yes. I want you to, to, to trust God that you will get into a place where you can pray by yourself because Hallelujah. you have the Holy Spirit and yes. you don't have to call your pastor every time yes. because now you know how to pray. <laughs> you know how to cast out devil in the name in Jesus of Jesus, name. because you have the Spirit of God in the inside of you. This is this this is the time that, as the Church of God, we need to again get into a place where we can go on our knees and pray and seek the face of God and pray in spirit and in truth. And you need the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Jesus so I want to show. You show you some of the things that the Holy Spirit does in our life so that you can be able to know that you really do need the Holy Spirit and you really can experience him in your life. Number one thing that we have learned from the text that we read in the book of Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 verse number uh, 8, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you receive power. Yes. You receive power. Not power that comes from, from the... Uh, food that we eat, not power that comes from taking multivitamins, the energy drinks, that's not the kind of power that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about divine power, yes. the miraculous working power, Hallelujah. the marvelous power. It, it, is, it is called dunamis. Mm -hmm. it, it is called dynamite. Hallelujah. It is a power that can never run out. It is a power that can move even things that you never thought can be moved. That is why when people walk into a place and they have the power of God and there were bondages and chains that have kept people down, yes. it breaks those chains and opens up an avenue for people to escape. Jesus. Remember Paul and Silas when they were in prison, they were tied with physical chains. Yes. They, were, they were prison guards and there was a next door that was locked. But when they were inside there, the power of God came down mm -hmm. and those chains were broken. Yes. Those things were removed. The power of God, when it moves in a place or in the life of a person, it is able to change everything about them. Hallelujah. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 4, verse number 33, the Bible says, With great power, the apostles continued to testify of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God's grace was so powerful at mm -hmm. work in them. So it is, it, is, it, is, it is important for you to understand that when you have the Holy Spirit, you have power. Yes. You have dunamis. Yes. You have power. Hallelujah. Power to be able to do things that you could not be able to do. Because it is power that enables you to be able to, 
to carry weights, to move into things that ordinarily you could not be able to do by your strength. So God's spirit gives you power. Yes. Power to live right. Hallelujah. Power to be able to achieve that which ordinarily an ordinary person cannot be able to achieve in their life. Power to be able to go on your knees and pray for one hour. And what people wonder, how did you manage? It is because you're not doing it by your own might. Yeah. You're not doing it by your own power. Yes. But you're being enabled by the power of God. Hallelujah. Power to forgive. Some people have so much difficulty in forgiving. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, he gives you that power. You are able to forgive. You yes. are able to give. You are able to, to do things that by the natural strength of man, mm. it is impossible. The Holy Spirit gives you power. Hallelujah. And we need, to, we need that power in our life. Number two thing that the Holy Spirit does for us, the Spirit of God reveals God to us so that we can know God better. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God Thank reveals you, Jesus. God to mm. us. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows God. The Bible says to us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 and 11, nobody knows, they say this, there are things that God has revealed to us by his spirit. The spirit such as such at all things, even the deep things of God, for who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? The spirit of God knows the thoughts of God, knows the mind of God. Yes. The word of God is the mind of God to us. Yes. The spirit of God opens it, uh, opens it uh, to us so that we may understand what God wants us to receive from his word. So when you have the spirit of God, it will, he will reveal to you God. He will reveal to you the mind of God. Amen. So you need the Holy Spirit so that he can reveal to you the mind of God. Amen. There are circumstances in life where we are going through things that we don't know what is it that we can do. But when you seek God, the Holy Spirit begins to reveal to you the mind of God. Amen. The Holy Spirit can reveal to you the mind of God about your family, yes. about your children, Hallelujah. about your nation, yes. about your company, That's about right. your business mm -hmm. through the word of God. He will help you to understand that. Is somebody hearing me? Thank if you're just tuning into this broadcast, we are talking about the Holy Spirit, walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. And yes. now it is important for you as a child of God to have the Holy Spirit for an effective and victorious Christian life. Yes. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you don't have the power that you need to be able to live that kind of life because the Holy Spirit gives you power. That was our first point. He gives you power. He enables you to overcome temptation. Yes. He enables you to resist the enemy. Mm -hmm. He enables you to say no in times when the things are looking too good and appealing, yet there is a trap. The Holy Spirit empowers you Hallelujah. so that you can be able to resist the enemy. And number two, we have said that the Holy Spirit reveals God to us so that we can Know God better. The Bible says to us in the book of Daniel that they that do know their God, yes. they shall be strong and, and do exploits. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit helps to reveal God to you so that you can know God better. Yes. Do you know God? Uh -huh. Do you know your God? If you know your God, there are things that even when times are tough, you say, I know my God. Hallelujah. Job said, I, my Redeemer liveth. Yes. He knew his Redeemer. Even yes. in times when things were difficult, he said, I know my Redeemer liveth. Do you know your God? And so the Holy Spirit will help you to, to, to reveal, to help to reveal God to you so that you can be able to live the kind of life that God wants you to live. Amen. Number three thing that the Holy Spirit does for us, he will guide us in all truth. Yes. The Holy Spirit will guide you in all truth. When you have a guide, you don't need to go wrong. Mm -hmm. You don't need to make an error when you have somebody who is guiding you. Hallelujah. Because he leads you in the path of righteousness yes. for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thy rod and staff, they comfort me. Mm -hmm. David is referring to God's guidance in his life. Hallelujah. He valued God's guidance in his life mm -hmm. as God was leading him in the path of righteousness. You know, when you have a lot of enemies, one of the things that you need is for you to be led so that you don't trip in the presence of your enemy. Oh and God. we are surrounded in this world with a lot of enemies mm -hmm. as a child of God. So 
you need God to guide you. Yes. Guide you into the right investment. Yes. Guide you into the decisions that you're making about your future, Alleluia. about who to live with, mm -hmm. about what you're going to do next. You need the guidance of God yes. because God knows all things. He knows even about the future. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 16 and verse number 13, but when he, the spirit of truth, is referred to as the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truths. He will not speak of himself and will tell you of tell you what is to come. He will tell you even about the future. Yes. Right now the world is worried about the future. Well, right now people are, are scared about the future. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen tomorrow? The Holy Spirit can tell you about the future. Yes. And you know when he reveals to you about the future, you will not need to live in fear. No. You will not need to worry because you know that what he reveals to you is the truth. Hallelujah. Because the truth, the, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Yes. It can never lie. What a blessing to know that he can tell you the truth he can guide you in the truth number four thing that the holy spirit does in the life of a believer he helps a a christian or a believer in their weakness and he intercedes for them thank you Jesus. he helps you you know in the process of life uh -huh. you get into a place where you feel weak Yes. You feel overwhelmed. You feel you cannot go an extra mile. But when you have the Holy Spirit in the inside of you, He will bear with you. Yes. He will make intercession for you. Alleluia. Romans says He maketh intercession for us mm -hmm. with groanings that cannot be uttered. Mm -hmm. You have somebody in you who is yes. praying for you Alleluia. when you can't pray for yourself. You, Hallelujah. Yes. When you can't open your mouth and mm -hmm. pray, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit prays for you. Mm -hmm. Remember what Jesus said to his disciples in the book of John chapter 14 verse number 16 he said to him the helper mm -hmm. that word helper in the Greek word means paraclitis mm -hmm. one that abides side by side by you Hallelujah. to be your comforter yes. to be your counselor yes. to be your advocate yes. to stand by you and to strengthen you which Jesus. means in moments when you cannot he mm -hmm. gives you strength yes. he gives you that inner, inner strength you don't need Red Bull you don't need another drink to give you that energy. You, he will revitalize you. Mm -hmm. When you feel your soul is overwhelmed, the Spirit of God comes in and yes. he strengthens your life. Mm -hmm. When you are going through challenges of, 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 of despair and, and, and pain, he becomes your comforter. Yes. He comforts you. He is there with you through all. He guides you. He is your advocate. And so as a child of God, you need the Holy Spirit. Yes. Paul asked these people had you received the Holy Spirit when you accepted Jesus Christ and if you have not received the Holy Spirit your walk of faith becomes a burden mm -hmm. your walk of faith does not become enjoyable but I want you to know that when you will accept accept him in your life you will receive the power when you accept jesus in your life you will receive the holy spirit and the holy spirit will begin to empower you yes. so that you can begin to live a victorious life Hallelujah. and maybe you've been listening to us and you're saying pastor i have not been baptized in the holy spirit mm -hmm. i have been going to church but I, I i have never received or accepted the holy spirit to come into my life so that i may walk in the power of the holy spirit Hallelujah. well today is that day for you that i'm going to pray with you so that the Holy Spirit may come into your life. Yes. What is the criteria mm. that somebody needs to have to have the Holy Spirit? You need to be born again. Yes. That is what you need. The moment you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, the Holy Spirit can come into your life Amen. to lead you, to guide you, to help you understand the things of God and so that you can live a victorious life. I yes. want to pray with you right now mm -hmm. so that the Holy Spirit may move in your life, in your family, yes. in the name of Jesus. If your faith is high, you mm -hmm. can experience him right now yes. and there will be healing there will be demonstration of God's power Alleluia. in your life can we come into agreement thank right you, now Jesus. Father thank you with everyone yes, that Lord. is watching me right now yes, even as they accept this message and desire to experience the Holy Spirit yes, I Jesus. ask of you right now to release your Holy Spirit upon them in let Jesus there be name. a release of the power of God yes, right now upon mm. everyone again in that Jesus desires name. a fresh move of the Spirit of God yes, in their life Holy mm. Spirit of God we ask you to come down. Yes, Lord. Touch us and fill our hearts. In the mighty Let our hearts overflow again with the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Amen. Jesus. If you have prayed that prayer right now, believe by faith the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus name. If you pray that prayer also, 
as a child of God, begin to expect to experience it in your walk of faith, mm -hmm. the demonstration of the power of God in Jesus' name. Before I close, I want to make a prayer for anyone that is watching this broadcast that is not born again. Yes. That would want to say with me, Pastor, I want to give my life to Christ. Mm -hmm. I want to become born again. I want to pray for you. If that is you, say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. I welcome you. I welcome you. Into my life. Into my life. To forgive me. To forgive me. Of all my sins. Of all my sins. And be my Lord. And be my Lord. And Savior. And Savior. Of my life. Of my life. From today. From today. I am saved. I am saved. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you made that prayer, you are a child of God. You were born again from mm. wherever you are watching us, whether yes. you're watching us from out of the country or from South Africa, I want you to do us a favor. Please, if you'd go to our, our, our website address, www.citylightchurch.co.za, please send us an email. Mm. Send us a message that you just got born again or yes. onto our Facebook page at mm. citylightchurch.co.za. Click onto the WhatsApp line. It will take you straight to your WhatsApp. Send us a message that you just got born again. We will reach out to you, guide you. If you're in South Africa, we will try and help you. How you can continue in your walk of faith. If you are outside the country, we will try and help you. Where to get a church that you can grow in yes. and nurture your faith so that you may continue growing in the things of God. Hallelujah. We want to say it is such a great honor for us to be able to come and minister God's word to you through this medium. And even as we come to the close of this meeting, Yes. of this service this morning we want to say thank you so much for mm -hmm. tuning in and allowing us to come into your house yes for those of you who want to be a blessing to give your offerings and your tithe mm -hmm. please you can make your, your 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 sacrificial giving through the banking details that you're seeing on the screen right now yes and even as you do that may the lord richly bless you thank and you, increase Jesus. you and multiply you yes be reminded of our broadcast every morning from monday to friday 7 to seven thirty. yes as we stand on the gap with essential service providers yes. please tune in onto our facebook page and let's stand in agreement with them pray with them as we believe god for victory and on friday at 6 p.m yes. for a breakthrough service uh -huh. as we trust god for the breakthrough that he has for us the lord richly bless you may his face shine upon you shalom peace bye bye, bye.